Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Nate Johnston from Colorado Springs, Colorado. The winds of change are blowing. Look around. It's the winds of change blowing. You either fight it or fall into it. But this one isn't leaving anything the same way it was. Many are saying, Lord, I can't handle another season of storms. I'm tired. But the Lord says, my winds are not the storm. They dissipate the storm. Many have seen the signs and hunkered down in the storm bunker. But this isn't what you think it is. The winds have changed. They're creating ripple effects upon the global and personal circumstances. But they aren't coming to take you out, but to put you back together. Yes, the winds of the Spirit are bringing life to dry bones like Ezekiel 37, to the decommissioned. So I say to the fallen today, arise in Jesus' name. I see the deep grief trying to clamp itself around your head. But it must break loose now, in Jesus' name. For the Lord has been reforming you in secret. That's why your heart has been so raw. All the appetites for the world have fallen away. This is why you've detoured from the safe and expected path. This is why you had to shut the door. This is why you had to be detoxed from the rat race, to see it for what it is. In the last ten years, there have been gusts of transition and many birth pangs. But they have not been the birthing, but now... The winds of change have prepared the church for the greatest hour. I heard the Lord say, Fresh manna will fall as you let the old manna rot away. There's been an unhealthy clinging to the methods and the mindsets of God's last move. It's produced an influx of bad fruit. But this move of God is going to look different. It's going to look messy. Yet it will restore order in lives and families in the church. For I've been separating the wheat from the chaff, says the Lord. Those who fear me and those who don't. Those who lie with evil and call it good. Those who choose the world over me. That's why I've separated you from them and removed you from the tables of compromise, even when it hurt. But you knew you couldn't worship me and their golden calves at the same time. For the winds of change are bringing things into their right place. I am plucking out the root rot of the church and planting the Davidic heart again in the place that has been defiled. So don't be surprised if it looks polarizing or destructive. These will cause true repentance to gush forth. My winds of change are blowing divine justice over these situations that have held people in bondage and psychological manipulation. And in a moment, their power will be gone. I will repay what they stole from you and restore you to your post. A sign of this will be that you start to see the private foxes become public. The private battles in your life with the spirit will soon be made known for what it is. For this is an hour I am dismantling the tower of man's achievements and bringing the church back into a humbling once again. For my wind is blowing and delivering the proud and lofty and setting them free from their thrones. I am bringing the church into her nameless and faceless days where all eyes will be on me once again. Now watch as I blow upon the nations. I am sending one expression of my spirit into one nation and another to another. There will be such a sudden explosion of varying flavors as I restore my salt and light and set my feast for the hungry. These expressions won't be able to be contained or manipulated because they can't be controlled. And those who are there to witness them will be unable to manufacture or steer it, only lean into what I'm doing. My winds come now at the turning of a tide in nations and in response to those who have prayed for nations hanging in the balance. And as you see both disruption and beauty, says the Lord, you will see turmoil and outpouring. But look beyond the news. Look beyond the story before your eyes. See what I am doing. I am restoring nations, not tearing them apart. My winds are blowing open the blurry prophets. For many have been in a season of blindness and disconnected. But my spirit is now giving you back sight with clarity that has not been released upon the church yet. And the eyes of the blind will see. Fresh vision will finally come after years of wandering around feeling like God departed you. The Lord says to his prophets, I had to untangle you before I could allow you to see fresh, otherwise they would have trampled the revelation I am now giving you. This is where the dots connect over the last four years and finally come to fruition. So, I am rearranging your life and altering your plans. I am also conceiving in you new movements, but in order for these movements to be birthed, you have to migrate. For some, it's geographically. For others, migrating from the seas you've been swimming in. The Lord says you have outgrown those waters. You will become stagnant if you don't flow with me and move with me. 
but I'm not taking anything from you. I'm adding to you. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater as you feel this shift. Don't burn your bridges and throw away the keys to your vehicle. Learn how to receive multiple callings and assignments, multiple burnings, multiple groans, says the Lord. For I am going to give you more nations and open up places you never expected. Don't be overwhelmed. Lean into the new space of dreaming with me and learning to operate with greater capacity to understand how I weave global estates together. I saw the winds gathering people in hidden holes and caves around the earth. Who are these ones, I asked. These are the ones I am calling out of the dens of darkness and the pain, calling them back to their posts. They are the ones who have died in battle and lost everything. I am putting my spirit upon them so they can lead the charge in the days to come. And now they won't lead the church to more religion, but to me. And they will establish birthplaces where my spirit can move without restriction and where I cohabitate with them, says the Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray that your winds blow across our land. Lord, I pray that whatever is not of you like chaff, Lord, it would be blown away. Lord, that the winds of gathering, friend, that's what's in this word is, this isn't a wind of scattering. This is a wind of gathering. He is causing the winds to blow in our lives, to consolidate, to bring back together. Yes, the things that aren't of God will be, will be lost, but don't we want that? Don't we pray for that? Lord, I thank you that you are bringing things back to my friend, that those pieces, Father, that are of you, that are anointed by you, Father, would begin to coalesce, that would be gathered and collected by the winds of change. Lord, that we would move as you would have us move, that we would be able to see, experience holy justice, Father, for the last four years of our lives. Lord Jesus, it may look polarizing, but we choose to believe in your divine order. We believe, Father, that you have a plan and a purpose as you reform us from the inside out, Father. Do your work in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.